Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Ewok Templar. Sprawl. This is it. The end of the line. You're making your way towards the spire, the Junta's crown jewel. Here is where the Junta is able to monitor all traffic on the net, every CCTV within the sprawl, catalog every citizen and their actions. It's the center of their power, their fear, and father intends to destroy it. At least that's what he says. Ellipses. We're, this is it. This should be the finale. This is the end. This is where the sprawl happens. Who's that? Is that someone running away from me? Someone shooting at me. Oh, there's that guy. Come come closer, please. point although we're running along smg already oh hold on i see that guy i see him you see him He's trying to blend in with the surroundings but not today all right well something's obviously happening over there something over here we got the jams at least who all right now what all right let's say you can get over there there's another switch to flip I imagine that the center area might be the final area for this puzzle, at least. Mm. Why I oughta? There you go. Disable shield wall. Now can I access that from over here? Whoa! Who's targeting me, baby boy? Doesn't matter. Whoever they are, they're gone now. <clears throat> Alright. By that logic. There's nothing over there, so we're fine. This, however, is important. Truth be told, when I asked for freedom in our bargain, I never defied <clears throat> it. It's time for me to make clear what we are doing here. There is nowhere for me to run. Nothing left in this doomed world can house me anymore. I have no escape, and I refuse to be a prisoner anymore. You are going to shut me down. No, father. We're going to turn you off. That's actually an interesting idea. An AI that doesn't want to live anymore. He's tired of being a tool of the government. To fight the invisible... Well, I, uh, <laughs> To fight the enemy that doesn't really exist. and I can do that one. I imagine that's the final switch. Can I make that from here? No, there's no way.
Well, if he never used wall running before, he's gonna use it on this level. Actually, that's wrong. After playing through the game, I realized that that would have been impossible, man. I think wall running was a prime, <laughs> prime way of movement in this game. Well, that's just prime, if you ask me. All right. Scoochie, our little boochie, is back over here. This one is a little bit cumbersome. Hey, oh, what? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that made sense. Thank you. here now. Oh my. Dang. Hold on, keep your eye out. No telling when they'll decide to throw another rail gun at us. This is where the party starts, isn't it? There's a robot in there. There's actually several enemies in there that I don't enjoy. What, 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 what? Stop being alive. Okay, all right. Those are all good rounds. Thank you. Might ever borrow those a little bit. Well, the elevator's going up. <laughs> Take that or leave it. Ooh, here we go. This is what I needed. Okay. Not so bad. Ah. Oh. Wait, is that an enemy? Are those just dudes standing over there? They are. Here they come. Okay. 
Keep your eyes open, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe stick to the walls a little bit better. Who's that? All right, it's a freak. <laughs> yeah, you know when you get shot, you sort of <laughs> you sort of eject your soul out when you're a robot. There are two levers that would lower the access point to my core. Activate them and make your way there. Yes, my master. Oh, oh, come on. It's fitting that I would choose to mimic my creators in this way. Self-imposed annihilation. It's fitting? Dang it. These ones are mean. They require a triple jump. Oh. Wait. What? Am I missing something? Because that's where I was. There's a rail gun over there. Go ahead and take care of that. Yeah, I just flipped that switch and then I ran around like a freak to up here. All right. Where's the other switch? Wait a minute. I was told there was a second switch. I have no earthly idea where it is. Alright, it came up here, right? Unless I'm supposed to be up here. Oh, I think I am. Because now this goes over this way. Aha! I found it. It was where the rail gun was. Of course. Once we do this, there is no turning back. No world to return to. But you understand that. The end of this regime. The return of human autonomy. I care not for these things. Neither do you. But there are others who do. Waxing poetic in my final moments is all. Hey, listen. Very interesting choice that the robot meant to enslave humanity doesn't want to enslave humanity. I'm gonna be honest with you. He's like, nah, screw that. Set him free. Sounds like work and evil. <laughs> Alright, I will do just that. As soon as I figure out where they are. Looks like there's two flying death machines up there. Or those processing units. Well, that's not what I meant to whip out. Hold on. I'm coming back for you guys. There you go. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Whoa! Do you mind? Party. I don't care who was invited. Oh. I'm out of the, the big blast. There you go. Big enough. Am I right, guys? Oh my god. Can we get some regular bullets up in here?
Oh, yo, oh, 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 oh. Where is he? Where is that flying freak? Did he just leave on his own volition? What's going on here? There's a robot dog down there. Let's go ahead and talk to it. I need that shotgun shell for certain. Alright, so here's the plan. I see two more of the big boys over here. Talking mad nonsense. What? Whoa! Gotcha. What I want to do is quite simple, really. Is that. That's what I want to do. Hold on, they're chasing me. Switch it up. Gotcha. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me in. I'm resisting. Oh. Is it a failure or is it just a different way of winning that you never thought of? Cause you're not as smart as seven. Um, subs? There you go. You got some big robots walking around doing robot things. Who's shooting at me? Oh, is it my armor integrity that's the problem? Or is it the people keep on shooting me? I see you. Hey, they actually drop ammo and stuff. That's nice. I didn't know they did that. I thought those flying. All right, they did. They're different from other flying freaks. System. Failure. Failure. Could you drop more health, please? That'd really help me out. You know. Hell, that one just shot the mess out of me without even trying. Like, that was ridiculous, the amount of damage he just did. He just, he just auto-locked and shot upwards towards me. Once again, the thing giving me the problem is these little robots with the machine guns. Son of the flying machine.
Gotcha. Alright, now we're cooking with some C's. That must be the last one. Where? What? What? I'm gonna grab that armor first. Ha! Ooh! Thank you. Even though I probably would do little to nothing. Give me that. Give me that soul juice. All right, I'm here. Now, beyond the veil, what should we do? I guess one rail gun around should do it, right? Nope, tougher than that, apparently. Hey, here you go. What, what, what? What is that? What is that gunfire? Was that everyone and everything? Are we done in here? What kind of ammo is that? I don't even recognize it. Was that railgun ammo? I didn't pick it up. I think it was SMG ammo, wasn't it? I don't think I've ever seen a regular enemy drop that before. Let's gather everything. Looks like there's one more armor over here. <laughs> Nudge my way towards it. Wasn't there another am ammo cache as well? Hold on, before we leave. Grab everything. Grab it all. It all belongs to us. All our bases belong to us. One more armor over there. Wait, did I even grab it? Does it not let me go above 100 when it's just the yellow? No, it doesn't. Lame. Oh! Last one's in here. No, father. Is that it? Oh, I got to stand in the middle. I was like, where do I go now? Oh, this has got to be the boss fight up here. man I'm just gonna empty out on him while taking cover A bunch of small enemies gonna come in now as he runs away. Oh, there's something exposed. Yeah. Oh, small enemies are coming. Hold on, let's get moving. Oh, what? I do not get a lot of chances to go up. All right, let's try this again. I only get four jumps. That is not enough. All right, what if I start off over here, move over there, move over there. There we go. Is there something I'm supposed to flip? Like a switch I'm supposed to flip or something? There's some dudes down there. They want to fight. Alright, it flew away. I got turrets. Of some kind. Switch to rail gun, see if we can line up a shot properly.
Oh, did it open up finally? It did. Yes, you will. Hold on. We're about to have a little party out here. Dodging, dodging. <laughs> Whoa. Sliding. Where are you going? Where are you going, boy? He's upset about something. <laughs> you gotta do the slip and slide dodges. Ooh. Nice. No, <laughs> I'm gonna live for father, his dream, his reality. You say that. But I feel like majoring in stupid tonight. All right, come on. Where are you? Are there more buttons exposed? Oh, I turned off all the turrets, I think. Oh, you at least this big boy gun. See that? It's just a grenade launcher. Oh, it's hard. I gotta shoot where he's gonna be. I got it down, though. Like he wants to play games. So do I. <laughs> Pretty much got him right where I want him. At the sound of his fart and gun cannon coming back. Can I snipe it? I'm gonna try. Wait for him to get down here. So his weak spot is only his eye right now. Unfortunately, that does mean eventually I'm gonna run out of armor. I have to start hitting him harder and more personally and more, be more aggressive. I have one health pack left down here. Is 
His firepower is reduced, but... Still a lot of health. Oh, I didn't know the SMGs could do more damage to him than the pistols. I kind of want to finish them with the pistols. Dead body left over. This shattered world, we shall build a new and fill the cracks with gold. The time is not kind of like an old teapot. The Junta has been defeated. A single person, a symbol has risen and fought back. The symbol of all their power now lies in ash. She gave her life for you all. Her name was Seven. That's just how it ends. Now, so is that what you look like? Because like, like that's like the image of Sprawl. Were you just a chick in a trench coat with like these VR goggles on? That's pretty badass. Well, that was Sprawl. Interesting. Kind of a clean cut ending too. It's just like I I guess it, like it is ambiguous though because it's so fast and it just says it's over. You did it. You killed them all. And the message that father left for the people goes out out there for everyone to know hey we took him out her name was seven but i feel like it is kind of still open-ended because did she die he didn't show her die he gave you it was a strong suggestion that she did pass away that she did die in that final battle hold on you're catching i just realized this entire time you're catching a little bit of the screen over there <laughs> hey i might have shaken you around when i switched the Switch the channels, switch the switch the monitor, what it was collecting from. But anywho, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I don't know where this music was. This music is kind of awesome. It's like there was definitely more of a techno song that was like playing for each level. Each level had like their own song. Well, maybe not each level, maybe each like section. Because I could have swore some of them were very similar. This one's very distinct though. I wish this was played more often. This should have played during the final fight right there. But I said this in the last episode, I did find it to where the regular enemies were more of a challenge, especially when they were in high numbers than the actual boss fights, which maybe a tiny bit, just a little sliver of balancing issue because they did have their weaknesses. They had major weaknesses that you could exploit and go on. It was definitely had like almost a puzzle element with how you had to manage your health and your slow-mo because you had to go in there and make sure to get the kill so you get your health and your slow-mo back because that was just normal you saw how much damage they did to you like if you stood still for just a second that's half your health your armor basically absorbed two or three shots and don't get me started on the rockets the rockets would just kill you but i don't believe there was fall damage so and it had it had its own unique feel but honestly It did, but the, the things that like I would say bothered me would probably be the little flying robots, like especially those ones that like the iBot ones, because they would die and drop no, no, they would drop nothing, and they did decent damage. And then like the regular robots, like even the big robots weren't as big of a problem to me as the tiny flying robots and then the regular guard robots. Even when they upgrade to like the bigger, tougher ones, I feel like their weapon shot slower because they had the shotgun, just like the heavy armored regular guy. So they were easier to deal with than like the laser SMG robots. They were they were probably the biggest problem other than the little flying ones. Because they would really melt my health really fast. And also they were hard to hit. And their hitbox at times, not all the time, but at times is a little bit ambiguous. 
Because, like, you'd either destroy them in one shotgun shell or two. And also the pistol and SMG did very little damage to them as well. So for, for a lesser enemy that dropped nothing, it was a, they were a problem, the flying ones. They were a big problem. Uh, positive things, though. I like the way they did wall running and movement. I actually do like the puzzle element. I think it was just a little bit, just a little tiny sliver harsher than what I would have liked when it came to, like, health and slow-mo management. I would have liked to be able to use and abuse slow-mo just a little bit more. I wouldn't have minded if they put more enemies into the game and gave you more slow-mo, kind of like Max Payne. Because Max Payne gave you a decent amount of slow-mo. And you could do... You could, with the sticky reticle that was already in Max Payne, you could fandangle certain fights where you didn't even need the slow-mo. But I feel like you gained slow-mo back a lot more. I could have swore, like, on normal in Max Payne, one kill would give you, like, a fourth or a third of your slow-mo back. But this one, I mean, it gave you a decent chunk. We also burned through it really fast. Not as bad as Dread Templar. Dread Templar, it's like they give you like three seconds. And then you get like maybe an eighth or a ninth of your slow-mo back for each kill. So it really is like, but we'll, we'll, I'll talk about Dread Templar in its own playthrough. But for Sprawl, I feel like I wanted more of that fast-paced thing to come out because I felt like there's a lot of times where it forced you to like camp or wall hug or take the enemies down in a narrow corridor rather than actually getting into the actual fight where there's a bunch of them. Because there were times, but you definitely had to use the walls to your advantage and be aware and then take them out while they were jumping and stuff. There was no like being in the middle of it and just being like the fastest and like just tearing them up. But I guess that's like a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because you are having to think and use your be the best of your abilities to get the objective done, to get the kills and to move forward, to complete the, the board, if you will. While you didn't feel overpowered, there were times where if you did it just right, you did feel like you were powerful, like you were definitely the ultimate weapon. Then other times, like as soon as you like stood still for a split second, just burp, you were just deleted. Uh, I just wish the dodging was a little bit easier in bags. I feel like there was some times where it's trying to do its own thing. It's trying to be its own version of a of a what, what's what's the word? It's definitely. I mean, it's definitely a first person shooter. But for me, the certain damage types and weapons fire that was like almost impossible to dodge, made it feel more like a boomer shooter without all the other boomer shooter elements. You know what I mean? Especially when it came to the amount of damage you did and their weak spots being very important. And also, for me, even like going between mouse and keyboard, it was definitely almost, it was almost impossible to be in a big fight with no slow-mo. Like if you ran out of slow-mo, you had to pull back and then start taking them out one by one and sacrificing your ammo just to kill one just to get some slow-mo so you could start the chain reaction again. Because without it, without the slow-mo, I mean, it was a doomed existence. Um, I like the row gun, but I feel like even since it is just a single-player campaign, I feel like there should have been just a tiny bit more of Sticky Ridicule and maybe even a scope. Because... Uh, I mean, of course, there's those people back in the day who were like really good on mouse keyboard playing Quake, so they probably didn't, they probably wouldn't feel a thing. They'd probably get headshots like all day with the roll gun, and it'd be really easy for them. But for me, since it was a single player campaign, I feel like there should have been a little bit of an easement right there, a little bit of, a little bit of an ease, or a little, little bit of a ease it up for you, because I found it very difficult to snipe things that I wanted to snipe with the roll gun, especially like the little robots or the turrets that I just wanted to get rid of before I got over there to fight everyone else. Other than that, though, I really did enjoy this game a lot. Really did. I recommend it, especially if you like this ty those type of games. Like, if you wanted to play a, a boomer shooter that was a little bit different and not, like, exactly a boomer shooter, I don't even know where to where I would put this. It's, it's like... It's fast-paced, but there's some management to it. I guess in that regard, it's more similar to, like, the latest Doom, right? Because I know that, like, the Doom Eternal, you had to do a balancing thing to where you kill, gather the ammo, 
and the power so you can kill again and you had chain reaction all of that and pay attention to it so i don't even know where you where you would categorize this maybe like a free runners first person shooter it was definitely very forgiving for failing free running because failing free running just teleported you back it didn't even send you back to checkpoint it didn't even lose health if you fell down you took no fall damage it just teleported you back to where you were before you attempted that the like the puzzle part when it came to like free running but i don't know i don't even know how to categorize it it's definitely not a boomer shooter and it's definitely not like max paint where it's like uh a hardcore John Woo story narrative. It does have a story, and the story is happening. But as you can see through the playthrough, it was it was definitely more about the gameplay than the story. The story is pretty simple. They tried to kill you, so you the mega corporation tried to kill you because you were learning something, and then you and the AI go rogue and destroy the mega corporation. That's pretty much it. That is it. But for the gameplay that it chose, I mean, it worked. In my opinion, it worked very well. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this one right here. Tell me what you all think. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section. Give me your opinion about the game as well. But thank you all. This has been Ewok Templar. We just finished Sprawl. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. See you all in the next game. Y'all take it easy. Isn't there that I don't enjoy what, 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 what? Die, die, stop being alive.